Hello there everyone, welcome to Hearthstone, a game I don't play too much, but I thought I'd make a nice little video with a little Twitch highlight put in there. So as you can see, this is a warrior deck. I called it Galakron the Insane, because personally I think it's an absolutely insane deck. It has so much potential, it aggroes the board so early on, but can also compete late games against those heavy priest decks and shaman where they just build the board up and have huge minions so you either destroy by the six mana or just can absolutely wipe at about the 20th mana round so it's really good I'll just give you a little insight into how it works so when you see the highlight you'll have a little idea what's going on so it's basically we have a lot of early rush uh, rush deck type minions so town cry here draws a rush deck this is obviously a rush minion that if you invoke twice which is ridiculously easy to do in this deck you get two extra copies of this, which is crazy. You know, it's like th three mana, nine, six. It's unbelievable. And each thing separate, which makes it technically more powerful because it's like a board clear. Now, I was having some difficulty with Shaman Galakron, which is why I put Brawl in here just as a last resort. But I think it's great. Now, really, everything sort of synergizes together. So you've got Inner Rage, which is zero mana, which can be used with Gromash. You've got Inner Rage, which can be used with Leroy Jenkins into a blood swan mercenary so you can do about 16 damage in one turn if you do it correctly and Kronk's dragon hoof that crazy board clear or an 8-8 dragon or a heal it's so good and obviously galakron right there to see it all together late game now we'll skip straight to the highlight but if you do want to use this deck absolutely go ahead here's the deck build right here and obviously just comment if you do use it i'll be very interested now it's not my deck i do want to let that clear it is off half pawn however i did edit a fair bit of it so you know it's my interpretation of it but the original idea was not done by me i will link the person who created this deck in the description if you want to go check that out however the deck will be fairly different okay on with the highlight So what you want to do is kind of get like a one mana, two mana in the opening hand. It's pretty good. This is okay. I mean, cool task matters. Pretty weak. But it gives some good armor synergy. So it depends how aggro this deck. If this is Murloc, then I guess we have Brawl or Cruel. So I think we're pretty good, to be honest. It's not too bad, I guess, against Shaman. Okay. So I think that's Murloc. I mean, we've got a board clear. If, okay, it's kind of kind of shady. That's alright. Yeah, we might even just crawl Taskmaster that. I mean, it adds an extra thing to the board. So, I mean, what was that? This is one mana for two mana, but with a minion. So that's good value. Okay, now. Is it like a Murloc Galakron? Okay. Think. It looks pretty cool for me. So I'm just gonna keep the momentum. I could have done four to face, but I think if his goal is to run the board up, then I'd rather save Brawl. Oh, these cards I haven't seen. This is pretty good. I think we'll use a Rush Reborn because we don't need the no Galakron damage to be honest. <laughs> this deck has a lot of potential, so I think either way we're in a good spot. But I could really, if he plays anything with one attack, I can just attack into that. Really slits. And if he has another minion, kill that. So much synergy. The two words I say, one attack is great. The thing is, I want him to play something else. With like, let's think, three attack. Anything with three attack. Three attack, three defense. That would be perfect.
Oh, calling it all today. That's great. I just do that into that into that. I don't know. We literally called it. So what I think the best play is to do this. Two places. Look at that. It's great forward at the moment. Mr. Prediction over here. He's gonna play the board for this thing, so might as play it now. I don't actually know what that does. I've not played hard in ages. The last guy is triggered twice this time. Okay. Engaging TC That's fine, there's nothing. Because it won't play. Well played. Because <laughs> it wasn't. Um. I think he's gonna run out of minions pretty easily. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, uh, no, that was wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. I mean, I'll do that into that. I might even get rid of that. That works. I'm not gonna play another ninja. But that worked. Worked fine. Okay. It's fair enough. Is that a passive then? Wait, no. He has to use it. So. Okay. I mean, we don't want to be playing like very defensive either because we need to get some pressure. Two, six. So we have nine damage on the board. It's pretty good. I think we can pump. We have rule. I'll save that. Um, you know what? I feel like. Place it like. We're in such a good situation right now. It's just great. We can just chill. Okay. Big, big battle cry coming in. Okay. I think that's a brilliant move by him. Perfect. Right. Okay. That's pretty good. Because it means whatever we draw next should have uh, awakened. So hopefully we'll get Galakond on the next. I think we do that. Just for armor anyway. We could even board clear here, but I. You know, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I think we just keep going face. I might be wrong. I think if we want to make this get really well. I mean, we can afford to brawl later on. So. We have a lot of late game. Tell them all need to. Double the power. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's four times. Holy, wow. This will be a good time to fall, I think. He invested a lot into that. A lot. He's going to clear it, although he can clear, so... Depends what I have. I mean, if I get Lero, I can win. Just that. It's what's great. I can just win straight away with Lero. Come on. Lero Jenkins. Lero Jenkins. Oof. That's good. We can do both. Okay. I think we definitely need to go on it. I'm in a good spot. Let's see what it does now. Should have worked. Okay. Makes me with Rex. Doing that brawl so early, but oh, I wonder he'll do the health thing again, though. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not looking forward to the one deal. I think it does it twice. Oh, and again, yeah, no, no. 
Okay, so I need to see you. That's good. Um, that's fine. I am unbreakable. I am unstoppable. Okay, what do we get? That's good. That's good as well. Trust I think. Trust the weak. So we can do. I think Trust we can win next turn. As long as we can't heal. If he can't heal, we win next turn. That's it. If he's top deck to heal, he's hovering on that card. If he's top deck to heal, so unlucky. But I should have saved Ball for Shadow Walk. As I said, I'm very new to this, so I, I don't really know what the, what the decks are running. Oh no! What a joke! Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay. Bit scary. It's a 10 though. It's pretty, that's pretty scary in itself. What can win? Gromash? Gromash wins. On the wings Gromash of still evil. wins. Leroy still wins. Leroy still wins. We have so many ways to win. As long as he can't taunt. Everything I've said so far has happened. So if he gets a taunt now, then I'm shook. Please not. Okay. Okay. Don't be a taunt. Don't be. That's fine. That's so fine. We have lots of ways. We two cards. Two cards out. We have a, a one in seven point five. Oh! Right. About to show you the play. About to show you the play. You watch it. Right. You do this. The play. We can even do this. You know, just attack the VM. There we go. This deck is insane. It's an insane deck. Look. Look at that. It's so good. But yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, give it a like, tell me what you think, throw the deck if you want. As I said, original uh, creator down below. But if you love it, take it, don't care. It's insane. Everyone should play it. I was playing a aggro hunter, went against this deck so many times and raged, took the deck, now we're owning. It's great. But yeah, perfect. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.